Penile implant surgery can be done for patients who have erectile dysfunction and are unable to sustain an erection. Generally, they have uh, less blood flow or they have some scarring in the in the tissues of the penis, which which otherwise enlarge or which which retain the blood within the within the penile tissue. It can be done with the help of two different methods. One method, which is a simpler method and less costly, is a uh, rod insertion. So it's a silicon rod which has got a hinge and one area of silicon and other area of silicon. Now why is this? Because this is inserted into, into uh, the area under the bone and then patient can keep it flexed like this inside the pants and, and uh, can hide it. And when patient is ready to have sex, this can be straightened and patient can have sex. The, uh, this is a simpler operation. So two rods, two such silicon rods are inserted into the penis. The other operation is uh, when a hydraulic prosthesis is used such as AMS 700 pump. Now this pump has got two cylinders and a reservoir. Reservoir is kept in front of the bladder in lower abdominal wall and it has got a, got a switching mechanism which mechanism is kept inside the scrotum. So once patient desires to have an erection, patient has to press the switching mechanism repeatedly and as a result the fluid moves from the reservoir in front of bladder into the two cylinders and when that happens the patient the penis becomes erect and patient is able to have sex once patient no more requires the erection then he has to give a long press to the switching mechanism and the erection goes down so for the first procedure that is penile rod insertion the patient needs to stay in hospital for one or two days for the prosthesis another day extra for that and patient needs to stay in India for around three weeks uh, for either of the procedures to see whether there is any, any issue, any complication or anything or everything is okay. What complications can happen? Sometimes, uh, with uh, especially with hydraulic prosthesis, hydraulic failure can sometimes occur. If that occurs, then uh, the prosthesis has to be removed and new prosthesis inserted. Now, besides, there are not uh, other uh, no other major complications are there. With rods, what can happen is sometimes rod can erode through the penile tissue and then one has to wait for some time, maybe about three to six months and insert a rod again.